This video, I'm going to be breaking down a trips tight end little mini guide, mini scheme to get you started if you want to run some trips. It's going to be out of the Patriots playbook. You can really do this out of literally any trips. Uh, the Patriots playbook is just the most classic trips tight end formation in the game. It's got the 45 quick base, verticals, and my favorite play, PA slot corner. Now, the only audible that we're going to set uh, for this offensive scheme is we are going to set the play, if I can find it, Pat's Y post. And we're going to be coming out in the play PA counter go. Now, as a rule of thumb when running trips tight end, you generally want to run this with your trips to the wide side of the field. However, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting this defense or this offense up to be ran majority or for the majority of the time with the running back on the right. This is going to allow us to run a lot of play action, which in my opinion is the gives you the best blocking and dumbs out a lot of defenses. So Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the scheme. Now, the first setup and my favorite in the entire formation is out of PA counter go. What we're going to do is we are going to flat the uh, middle trips receiver. We're going to drag the inside trips receiver, and we are going to tight end apprentice post the tight end. Now, the only apprentice you really need for this offense is tight end apprentice, in my opinion. And this is a super, super effective route combo. What you're going to get here is you're going to get a high-low read on the left-hand side between the flat and the tight end post. As you can see right there, if they're playing cover four, if they're playing cover three, the tight end post is going to be open. And I'm going to explain kind of what they're going to have to do to stop it. So uh, a lot of people, what they like to do against trips is they like to maybe do a coverage that looks something like what you see on your screen. But in this situation, they're still going to have to vacate the middle of the field and they're going to have to go guard that tight end. So because they're going to have to vacate the middle of the field, then what we're able to do is we're able to have this little baby drag come underneath and you can throw that kind of right in here, juke up field, and get some easy yardage. Now, to get them to have to make some of the adjustments that we just showed you on your screen, we're going to be employing our next play, which is verticals. Verticals is a zone coverage killer, and all we're going to do to set this up is put our running back on an in route. If they're playing pretty much any zone coverage to the left-hand side of the screen, especially if they're base aligned, what you're going to look for is this snap throw to the triangle receiver. As you can see against cover four, that is going to consistently be the cover four coverage. Also, let's say that you're, we're, we actually get this a lot, um, is some type of double flat, right? People are running a lot of double Mabel this year, pretty much a lot. This has probably been one of the, since Madden 21, one of the most heavy double Mabel Maddens that I've played in the last five years. So what you're going to get here is if they're running cover two on you, all we're doing is in route the running back. And essentially what you're going to see is that the slot receiver, you're just going to pass lead him inside. And this is going to be a one play touchdown against a cover two Mabel. So if you ask, what do they have to do to stop this? All they have to do to stop this is put a middle third defender or man him up. So what a lot of people like to do uh, to kind of handle that triangle receiver is they're going to run a coverage that looks something like what you see on your screen. Now, what this ultimately means is oftentimes you're going to get a cover three or cover four coverage in the back end of the coverage shell. So what we're going to be able to do then is we're going to be able to go back to that vertical setup and we're going to look to hit this tight end corner. Now, essentially what's going to happen is this crosser is going to cross into the grid of the outside third. And when he does, this corner route is going to be open to the right side. So you see here, we'll just kind of be patient here. And you see that that third is going to back up. As soon as he takes a step backwards, we're able to throw this outside, this, uh, this outside corner route uh, to the tight end. Now, another thing that I would be crazy if I didn't touch on here is occasionally the verticals corner, uh, occasionally this crosser can be a big play for you. So uh, feel free to try to maybe throw it kind of right in this pocket as long as your possession catching it should be just fine. As you can see, this route combo is really effective. So what are some things that they're going to have to start to do to kind of cover some of these concepts? One of the, one of the main things that you're going to start to see is you're probably going to start to see some cover two to the tight end side typically with the vert hook on the back end of this. And then it kind of depends on who, what they do with their user and all that. But generally speaking, this is kind of the coverage that we're walking them into. And this is the coverage that you'll probably see the most because they have to man up that triangle receiver. If they don't man up the triangle receiver, it's going to be open. So there's one of two things they can do. Either they're going to run this defense or they're going to run an all out man coverage, which we'll talk about in just a second. So what I like to do out of the play PA counter go when they're starting to see a lot more cover two, if I if they're keeping that slot or that outside corner on the right side pressed up, we're going to love this play. What we're going to do is we're going to flat the middle trips receiver. We're going to in route the outside trips receiver and we're going to streak our tight end. Our tight end is going to clear out the deep half. And then we essentially have a high low read between the crosser and the backside in route. It's a nice little Y cross concept. Super good 
for attacking a plethora of different coverages. As you see on that right sideline, that is going to be open if they play that cover two coverage. Now, in the event that your opponent is maybe running some double flat or double Mabel coverage, what it might look like is they will probably back off. If I can get the adjustment off here, let me see if I can. There we go. We're probably going to back off this cloud flat, and then typically that's going to mean some type of double flat here, right? So in the event that they do this to try to play more of a double flat type of coverage, understand that the user is going to have to take this crosser until he gets to the cloud flat. So practically speaking, he's still going to play kind of like a hook curl defender. And if you look on the back side of this play, you're going to notice that this backside in route comes open super early in the route combination before he gets to the user, making it super difficult for your opponent to actually user defend him. Another one of my favorite ways to manipulate the cover four coverage, especially if they are starting to run a lot of man ups on this triangle receiver, is to go to this next setup that I like to run, which is out of, if I can find the play, PA slot corner. Notice that the majority of plays we're calling is out of play action, which is the best type of pass protection. So we're going to go to the play PA slot corner. The setup for this play is we're going to streak the slot receiver. We're going to hit a smoke screen or zig the outside trips receiver and we're going to curl the tight end so we have good pass protection and essentially we have a high low read here to the left side and what you're going to see is you're just going to freeform this down into the outside and that corner route should be in a really soft spot against the coverage now for some reason right there it didn't work out in our favor but we'll kind of show you the same thing and again generally speaking you're going to get cover four or cover three over here to the left side and <laughs> got crazy shedded We'll show it to you one more time. But you see that that corner route's coming open. And again, the user typically is going to be over here. So what's this defender doing? Really, this defender is, is, is he's going to be either the purple defender. Maybe they press on that guy. There's a couple different ways they can kind of get to it. But essentially, those are the, the main coverages that you're going to see if you're running trips tied in. And the biggest thing about this is you want to throw this with the pass lead down and outside. Possession catch it on the sideline. So now what do they have to do over there on the left side? They have to run a 30-yard cloud to be able to defend that. So the ways that they can get to a 30-yard cloud, especially when they're pressing, typically what you're going to get um, is if they are going to back this guy off, it's kind of a dead giveaway that he's going to be on a deep cloud flat. But typically it's going to be from this player right here. So if that's the case, they're going to hard flat with this guy. They're going to deep purple with this guy or cloud flat. Let me show the deep cloud flat. It's a little better. And then this guy on the left side is probably going to be manning up onto the triangle receiver because they have to guard him. So as you look at this, this coverage defense, what can they not run to the back side? They can't really run cover two with this. They have to close the middle of the field or, you know, you're going to have a post route or anything open. So typically you're going to get something like what you see on your screen here. Let me go ahead and man this guy up and let me put this zone out here. So now what I like to do when they're starting to double flat and starting to do stuff like that, I love to go to this next setup, which is a flat to the middle trips receiver, a streak to the inside trips receiver, and a streak to the tight end. It's a little bit of a shot play, but what you're going to see is this circle receiver is oftentimes going to be wide open to be able to attack the defense. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive ebook, that is going to be available by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below to go join our school.com community where you can get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and college football for just $10.